three dudes, one mic, t- talking that shit. Today I got time, good. Something great podcast with your hosts, Danny, Jali, and AJ. Episode number twenty, something great podcast. We made it number twenty. Deuces. How's that feel? Cool. Does it feel good? It's exciting. It's crazy being like, damn. It feels like nineteen was just a week ago. A week ago. <laughs> oh, it yep. was. Uh, we are at twenty, and of course, right on time. Here is Lil Bow Wow faking it to disrupt the internet. Front on the gram with his with his normal trash. <laughs> I'm waiting on the next little Bow Wow album. Anybody? So, no. So <laughs> let's talk about what this dude did. He posted a, a photo on a plane. Uh, he posted a photo of a jet. Stock photo of a jet with a Mercedes parked in front. He said, on my way to New York for this growing up hip hop press conference. And then somebody who was actually in the plane with him took a photo of him. Said, yo, this motherfucker is saying that he's on a private jet posting, but he's sitting in front of me. Shake my head. Which then launched the Bow Wow Challenge. Like, yo, fake watch buster came at him. <laughs> he was like, nah, I reversed image search the photo. This is a stock, stock photo, photo from the website, the company's website. Then so he had the- another one, too. Oh, dude's been doing this for years, and I totally forgot about it until they started, like, <laughs> Everybody started pulling them all up. I'm oh, like, did you oh, watch yeah, the, he did do that. Did you watch the interview he did after that? I did. I seen the one he did on uh, Not Breakfast Club on the morning show where he was saying, you you, you got to watch the show to see the reasons I did yeah, this. Yeah, there's a, there's a method to my madness. I'm like, shut been doing it for years before that show was even out. I'm trying to use that shit to get people to watch the show. He's, he's done it with money, with stacks of money saying it was his. If he's he had just cars. if he had just made a post that said, "I know I got money, but I'm flying coach because I want to stay with money," you know. But I'd have been like, "You know what? I respect that. You can have money. Oh, you on a regular plane. It's not I'd have been like, I respect that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah exactly. Do his thing. You don't gotta like super floss like that, <laughs> or even first class. So you're flying by yourself. This motherfucker had another, another one what, where he's uh, sitting on the balcony. He's got his arms over the balcony. He's like just waking up at Moss Mount Mansion, right? <laughs> Motherfucker lives in apartments. They found the apartment, took a photo of the apartment, looked up photos of what the kitchens look like inside, matches the photos of him sitting in his kitchen. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I didn't see been, that one. That's yeah, that's too, That's what I'm saying. This dude's been doing this shit, like, nonstop. He thinks he's got JD money, but he don't got JD money. He's got a little bark. He's got a little, little bow wow. <laughs> he's got a little bite. Yeah, so, No. And then, the, yeah, that sparked the Bow Wow Challenge of everybody, you know. That, that challenge is pretty funny. It's just hilarious. <laughs> I remember in the the Mac computers, you ever, you ever got on them in the, the photo booth, and the background would change? Like, look, I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, this shit's just bad, but it's definitely a good challenge. It's probably got him feeling like a... Like a dumbass. It did resurface the video of uh, him with the goons talking shit to Funk Flex. Yeah, I'm going to have to <laughs> smack that ass. <laughs> you know, that shit is so good. So good. Yeah, so Bow Wow, shit. So what you're saying is those were fake goons. Yeah, those were his cousins. <laughs> those are people he picked up off the street. Like, y'all, I'll give you guys each 20 bucks to be in this video. I got some hoodies for y'all to wear. <laughs> Yeah, I got these hoodies. <laughs> Let me bless you. What was his uh, his brand? He had a brand? I'm pretty positive he did. I, don't, I have no idea. Asphalt. That brand, Asphalt, I think was his. No way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let me Google it. <laughs> Asphalt Lil Bow Wow. No. Yeah, I know he had like a brand. Yeah. Anyway, Lil Bow Wow's trash, man. What have you been trash? Just say you're on a regular-ass plane. Yeah. Doug. 
I'm yeah, sure he most does. Most people don't have as much money as Lil Bow Wow has, so like, who cares? That's what I'm saying. He's got, <laughs> I'm sure he's got, you know, money in the bank and he's, he's doing just, a little thing, but like, still trying know, to act like he's all the way up top. Like, yeah, he's not. Oh, he's we, like lower bottom. You know what? I think his mom took away his money. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit! She took all that Lil Bow Wow money. All he's got yeah. now is Bow Wow money. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is not even close <laughs> to Lil Bow Wow money. <laughs> oh shit. But in that video where he's got the goons with him, I think he looks at one of the goons and he says, Yo, what T.I. saying bounce skate? <laughs> like, roll does bounce. a create yeah, a roll bounce? What are you saying, roll bounce? Yo, I don't want to see you. I don't want to see any quotes aligned from the movie. How shitty is that? He also roll uh, bounce. He also challenged. <laughs> Yo, he challenged. Try to look uh, hard. You quote a fucking a roller skating movie. Hey man. Yo, what he saying that roller that skate, skate movie? movie son, nah. <laughs> Four wheels, dog. He challenged Funk Flex uh, a skating battle. <laughs> oh, what? I swear to God, dude. He see, did. I thought you were joking. No, he did. What it's, Funk it's, Flex say? All right. No, no, not skating. Not yeah, he's still waiting for a response. What? I'm waiting for somebody to accept one of these dumbass like challenges people <laughs> be trying to do, and then see what happens to that. Yeah, I'm gonna get a skate off. Yeah, like, you coming? <laughs> you coming to A? And we going? We going my? You know my skate rink? You know I mean? Then we gonna skate backwards. Watch we gonna dance. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got moves like this. You know, every time you go to the skating ring when you're little and all, there's always one person just skating backwards, dancing hard. Yeah, that was that's a little about. Always my jam, honey. <laughs> yeah. You say you got a, you got a crew. It's him, JD, and Usher. <laughs> oh, come on now, you know neither of those dudes are co-signing them no more. Well, I don't know about co-signing them, but they're not gonna be there with them. I don't know. JD got some. Corny shows, so... JD's got corny shows, but I bet you he does not have a corny bank account. No. That no, fool's bank no, account no. is probably like... He's been getting money since he was Bow Wow's age. When <laughs> Bow Wow was born. He's always been his height. <laughs> yeah, he's still his height. Yeah, think about that crisscross, that whole crisscross album. He's probably fucking caked off that shit. Nah, he's, he's got... Remember uh, Houdini, Freaks Come Out of there? Yeah. That kid dancing in there? That's oh, JD. yeah, he was popping in there. That's that right. There. Supersonic, that was his group. Oh shit, JJ Fad, huh? Yep. Oh man. So yeah, he's been getting money a long time. I got, I got respect for JD. He might be, you know, looked down upon a little bit sometimes in the hip hop community. So if he posts a jet, then we believe it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, more than likely because. And now like we can't believe generally. anything Lil Bow Wow post now. No. No. He can fucking post a picture of his shoes. I'm thinking somebody else's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls a, pulls a bottle of Skippy peanut butter. I'm like, you lying. You know it's a store brand. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's generic ass medicine. Post a picture with Snoop Dogg. I'm reverse image yeah. searching to see. You're trying to say, oh, I was a sunglasses and Advil. I'm like, no, nah, your shit's generic. <laughs> He's trying to say, you know, name in, brand medicine. He was in the photo that Puffy cropped out from the gala. <laughs> he cropped himself. Yeah, cropped out. <laughs> <laughs> Black excellence. I said, listen. Yeah. <laughs> excellence. So yeah, this shit was bad. Bow Wow, stop taking L's. You're definitely taking Meek's place right now. And you don't want it in skate. No, and you don't want you don't want to see Flex in skate. He's an OG. Look it out there on his eight wheels and fucking shame you. For real. He'll be doing the limbo. I don't know what else they do. Backwards yeah. skating where they fucking, you know, cross their legs and shit. Yep. That triple weird axle. crazy shit. We'll do the triple axle. 360, 720. Double sow cow. Uh, oh, that sounds like a crazy move. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Just made up a move. Yeah. yeah. We, weaving the cradle. He's going to be weaving the cradle. <laughs> anyway, speaking of people playing themselves on airlines, uh, the JetBlue incident, another airline incident, where a woman and her family uh, wanted to bring a birthday cake onto a plane, which right off the bat, I know that's a bad decision. Yeah, why are you bringing a birthday cake on the plane? Buy one at the grocery store whenever you get where you're going. Yeah, exactly. I mean, unless you're going like somewhere out. If it's a special cake, don't go on vacation. Don't go somewhere else. <laughs> Celebrate there, then go away. What's more important? That's what I'm saying. It's a so it was a problem with bringing a cake on the plane. Well, it's just not allowed to have a cake. To my knowledge, uh, it was chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you can hide weapons in it now. <laughs> 
No, I think she. they sat all the way in the back of the plane. They put the cake in a place it wasn't supposed to be. Then they said... Oh, like an oxygen tank oh, they put area. It in the overhead or... compartment. They didn't no, want to take it, w- it out. Like they, said, not they said put it in the overhead compartment. They said, no, we don't want to put it there because everything moves in the overhead compartment. Like, well, then you got to take it off the plane. I'm like, I don't want to play. I pay for this flight. Well, why? That's stupid. It was probably one of those little small areas where they keep something for the flight attendants or yeah. something that's just not... Yeah, so cake's supposed off. to go. But once you start making they did the making a big came. issue and you're delaying the flight, now you're disturbing everyone else that paid for the flight. I mean, these people weren't spazzing yeah, out on it though. Which yeah, fuck that? They're cake. in the fucking wrong anyways. <laughs> once, but I'd be pissed. I get on a plane and they got me stopped there because somebody got a fucking birthday cake. Oh, yeah. you know, I'd be yelling. I'd be like fuck, get that another cake. fucking cake. If you start uh, arguing with a flight attendant, I'm like, get him off. No, I'll buy that's you it. a cake when we land. Like, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just keep it moving. I promise, when we get back, I'll get you that cake. I'm How trying much was to that get cake? It wasn't even like a made by Duff cake or nothing crazy <laughs> yeah, like was that. It, was a cake shaped no, like something? Like, like, like a fries, like Stater Brothers grocery store cake. Got a ten dollar cake? Yes. Got a problem? Yes. God. Shit, got a bunch of two cakes uh, when we sprouts. landed. One for each kid. Never, many kids Never have I ever seen someone <laughs> bring a cake on the fucking plane. <laughs> okay, cupcakes. I mean, I've like, had to. Th- how many things have you had to throw away trying to get on the plane? Like, oh no, we, we you, you can't get through security. Yeah, who, with this. But who lets them through with a whole cake? Well, yeah, fire that guy. Because <laughs> that guy's a dick. I mean, you could probably break. Like that's the thing. Like they said, it could go in the fucking overhead compartment. They just didn't want to put it there. So I'm sure people do that now and then. Because just think, what if there's a spot. You grew up going to his bakery when you were a fucking kid. Now you live across country, and your family's bringing you the cake. Cool. Just play along with the fucking rules. If it gets messed up, like, it is what it is. so it be it. You're still going to eat the cake. You're still going to be happy. Well, it don't fucking matter. We ain't land get another goddamn cake. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey we got you this fucked up cake. at every supermarket and shit. Just get a fucking other cake. Now, oh, damn. So, now you're asked out. You're not going on the plane, and now you're delayed a day. This is what this is what happens when 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 parents uh give their kids like every single goddamn thing in the world. And yeah, they don't why tell they're them so no. spoiled all the time. Yeah, we're getting you cake. We're bringing. We're, bring, we're bringing this cake. Okay, yeah. no one says. Yeah. Fuck that cake. <laughs> you remember that time we took a flight to come see you and got kicked off the plane because they wouldn't let us bring your cake. That's where parents get get misinterpreted when. They say, I'm giving my child everything because I had nothing. That, yeah, I don't know. That's not I mean, how you do it. Yeah. Raise them better than you were raised. And That's like, it. And yeah, dog, it's cake. Yeah, it's a fucking <laughs> birthday cake. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I think she was turning 40. You don't learn by now? It was some shit you can't do. It was for the old lady. Yeah. No, come on, man. <laughs> you too grown to care about this cake that much. Yeah. 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 Pretty sure she didn't yeah, need it. It just sounds bad. You know, because uh, 40, you're probably close to diabetes. So, <laughs> you want to die or no? And she was black, too, so that's a higher chance of diabetes, actually. Yeah. That's an actual fact. That's just facts. Wow. <laughs> it's probably red velvet, though. That's <laughs> fucked up. What you do there, yeah. I hate red velvet. It's just fake. You know it's chocolate, right? It's basically chocolate cake. I have no idea. Shit, I love red velvet. I do cake. too, but it, it literally is basically I'd get kicked cake. off a plane for <laughs> some red velvet cake. Like, let me get that shit. You get some chocolate mousse, and I'm talking. <laughs> Carrot cake, and I'm talking. I used to go to Sizzler. And it's JetBlue that got kicked mousse. off, right? Yeah, yeah. JetBlue. That's why I was like, they, they have to have a logical reason. or something, man. Yeah. They don't need no cake. Shit. They give you blue chips, man. <laughs> Blue no. chips are amazing. Break what? They show blue chip? chips on the fucking no, plane? No, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to watch On shit. one of the channels, yeah, maybe. Yo. <laughs> well, you ever had them? You can't find no blue chips. I love them things. Am I, I going to? No, I don't, I don't know. know. They do sell blue chips, Doc. Tortilla chips. It's healthy because they don't taste that good. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They don't taste as good as the fucking regular corn. But so what are you saying? Dark is not better? Lighter is better. So just Where do you just go with yeah, that? He just went really far with that. <laughs> you just went really. So what are you trying to just say? Just ask it. You just went really supremacist on that. You trying to say I'm women ain't shit? <laughs> I, I happen to like them better. Well, women? Yeah, I love women. Oh man, I love the ladies. Anyway, 
I'm about to be taking a flight. Nobody better have no goddamn cake on there holding up my flight to Iceland. Shit, Word up. yeah. <laughs> We're trying to get to Iceland all the time. I'm standing. What do you have? Is that a fucking cake? <laughs> no. Turn around. <laughs> you so stop right there. What's the first thing you're going to do when you uh, get to Iceland? Uh, I'm going to uh, eat some pizza. Pizza down there? You listen to... Uh, Apparently there's a lot of pizza places there. Uh, you listen to this song? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta ask them. Uh, Let them know how icy you are. They're gonna play that there. You better bring your. Uh, they probably got like a lot of speaker. dance music or some shit. There. Yeah, it seems like mad electronic music. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, dog? Maybe it'll go down there or up there. I'm not sure where it is. Maybe Bow Wow performing out there. Maybe they'll think you're another In celebrity out rink. there, and they're gonna be like, "Yo, <laughs> is that?" Maybe there's a famous Icelandic <laughs> rapper. Was that flight expensive? I don't know, man. I booked it together. So. Oh, with the, <laughs> with oh, the like uh, double hotel? It was like two. Oh, sounds good. 200? That's cheap. Yeah, 2,000. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shit. So that's dope, though. Uh, do you know if there's anything, like, popping off out there? Anything that you guys really want to see? Like, uh, might do some whale watching? Yeah, whale, whale watching. watching. That sounds dope. Yeah, I used to do that all the time on Fordham Road. <laughs> <laughs> Them fat bitches. <laughs> so fucked up. Whale watching you sounds still, dope. You still do that, though. Huh? You still do that? No, when I go to Arizona Mills. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. You know, it just you happens. the whales watch it happen? It just happens. You hear the whales just walking by. So, yeah, so maybe I'll do that. You know, maybe uh, I was thinking about doing some kind of snowmobiling thing. But so yeah. wait, here's the thing: like, is Iceland from Go what I remember yeah, in in geography? They they said that Iceland didn't have mad ice. It was like uh, no, it's Greenland. Real green out there. Greenland. Is oh, what green, I, Greenland. Greenland is the icy place. So what's Iceland then? I don't know. Is it like pretty Greenland? icy? Yeah. So pretty Iceland's icy. pretty icy then too. Cool. Yeah. Then you're going to have to listen to Goose. You said that's going to be the uh, summer solstice, right? Ain't going to be no moons. Oh, yeah. shit. Ain't going to be no nighttime. Daylight, like, almost the entire day and night. Oh, I think there's, crazy. like, one hour, I think, it, that I read, that there's one hour of, like, darkness in the middle of, like, the night. That's crazy. But, yeah, pretty much daytime all the way. Oh, and that's where the northern lights happen as well? Yeah. But it won't be happening because it's going to be daylight. All the time. Right. That usually happens in the winter time. Damn, it looks beautiful out there. Lots of uh, I'm seeing lots of it's waterfalls. a lot of nature, waterfalls and stuff. And go see that. You know Don't that? go chasing them though. Never going to chase them though. No. Just stick to the rivers and the lakes. You know what are, that you used to. <laughs> now I'm chasing the water. I know you though, dog. You're gonna have to <laughs> tell way. me what I'm using. I do what I want. You're wearing nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Moving too fast. Damn, look at this shit, though. I know you're going to do some shit like that. I'm going. That's, that's there? That's the Blue Lagoon, yeah. Oh. He's like, that's where I'm staying. You that's son of a bitch. Of course it is. Is that, uh, like, hot spring? Do they have they have those there, no? Well, that yeah. technically is a man-made hot spring, as they call it. Mm. As I looked it up. But it's, yeah. It's, it's nice. It's like a hot spring. It's cold, but Damn, it's hot in there. Damn, dope. Yeah, I must say. Are you going to keep a journal? Log it stuff, you know, log stuff in. Yeah, I'm gonna take pictures on my phone. Actually, <laughs> gonna take pictures this time. <laughs> That's a journal. Oh, can you post them? I gotta write good. that thing down. Yeah, you know I man. Cool. I want Facebook Live while, while you're out there, dog. Nah. You can take your phone in the water, right? Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Here's some whales right here. Whale watching tours. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, they got whale watching tours. Oh, yeah. Whaley and Gonzalez. They got puffin tours also. What? You could be puffin? Yeah. Man, Northern Lights are dope. Okay, okay, so this is like what the city looks like then? It's very, uh. Regular? Uh, yeah, very <laughs> old school. Yeah, a little old school, like Looking. small streets, as far as I've seen. Uh, anyway. Like, taking a scooter? That'd be cool if I can rent them. I'm cool. sure you can. Yeah. Oh, is that a geyser? A lorry. Oh, yeah, they have that. Yeah. Damn, okay, yeah, this looks like it'd be uh, pretty exciting. It's gonna be lit, as the <laughs> kids say. Are you about to get litty? Exactly. Anyway. Very dope. 
off that. World Traveler. What else we got on there, man? What else has been popping? Well, little Uzi's. I was just shirt. gonna say, little Uzi's that. shirt. Definitely Ain't no damn feminine. Shirt. It's a blouse. <laughs> And then the, him holding that Goyard bag, too, like the way he's holding it, it just don't look good. His purse. But, I mean, I'm going to give him the pass because he's always said, I'm a rock star, I'm not yeah. a rapper. Yeah. Uh, I see rock God. stars wearing that I'm shit. I'm not doing that shit. Shit like that. So, mm. I, you know. Well, you've heard his music, right? Does it sound like rock music or does it sound like <laughs> rap music? You know what I mean? Like, that shit sound like, it sound like it sounds some, like rap. It sounds like some bullshit rap music. Yeah. Uh, so not a rock star. Saying you're a rock, him saying as a rock star is just uh, an excuse for how terrible of a rapper he is. Maybe he's just doing it because man, your rap suck. Well, that's because I'm not a rapper, obviously. I'm a rock star. <laughs> I'm a rock star. I'm oh, a rock star. Face. Well, I'm pretty good for a rock star, right? I'm like, well, okay, do you know Guns N' Roses? Who's that? Dog, he's got a Marilyn Manson chain. You know, he knows some rock. Mm, I don't know if he knows. G.G. No. Allen. <laughs> I don't know he know, but uh, I, don't I don't really care if he does. I don't care either. <laughs> he but just looked crazy in that what shirt. What if he just to go me, full metal? Though? Like, the shit, like, with young, when Young Thug was rocking, like, weird ass shit, he was rocking more feminine shit than Uzi was. I'm not trying to, like, fully stand up for Uzi here, but. I don't know. Get the fuck with these niggas wearing. They still look funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, if they would like, just, I don't care what you wear. You yeah, can wear whatever you want. They would just flat out to say, yeah. "Oh, I'm I'm gay. I like to dress like one. I'm gay. Okay, cool. <laughs> but what if they're not? What <laughs> if they're just like dressing then like now that? you're just a cross the dresser. Like okay, <laughs> young thug. I'll say that that dude is uh, definitely showing lots of stuff to show that he plays for both teams. The way he be calling dudes babe and just yeah. dumb shit like what? that. Right? Yeah, no. You don't know. You didn't see any of that. Yeah, him like, and who was it? He'd be like my babe. I paid no attention to that guy. He'd have so, his arm yeah. around another dude. Yeah, no. All kinds of shit like that. Dude's very, very, very suspect. Yeah. Uzi, though, like, mm, I think he just likes dressing like this. I think that's just trying to... I mean, I've only seen him in this outfit that was suspect. Yeah. No, I've seen him... I've seen him in some <laughs> other shit that's a little weird, but not <laughs> as feminine, I guess, as that shirt was. But yeah. he definitely... He was showing his cleavage. <laughs> I was just going to say cleavage. Yeah, I was going to say. There was, there was, that, that shit was low. <laughs> he was showing shoulders, and it wasn't a tank top. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Had, he had his arms covered, though. Yeah. yeah. He was covering and, his chest. And, and you know, women it. don't like their arms. So yeah. See, <laughs> look, <laughs> this is even further. He's wearing a blouse that shows his shoulders, and he had a choker, which we were talking about in past episodes. Choker, that's just becoming, I guess, that new shit, and... Uh, and hip hop, the fucking iced out chokers, and you know that's what it was. I, I thought it looked like the spike one. Well, that's what it's. It, it looks is, like it's a spike, but it's fully iced out. It's like, a collar. That whole so yeah, it's more like a collar. The spikes yeah. had ice on them. Oh, okay. But I mean, I get it. These dudes are trying to like go opposite of what everything Straight else was these last doing? fucking uh, thirty yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> no, with the chains, with the chains, compared to other hip past hip hop jewelry, it's always been about big chains, long ass chains. And I think that they're just trying to trying to flip it and go the opposite route, trying to do something different. And you're trying too goddamn hard, if anything. Mm, yeah, I'm not a fan of the way it looks, but... <laughs> He's trying to get attention. Like, trying to get uh, just attention instead of... Trying to be different is how I'm looking at it. That's the way to not be different, is when you're trying to... Well, you think you could wear, like, regular clothes and still look different? He's ugly as hell. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> so, is fucking ugly, yeah. <laughs> He uh, is. You know, like just you can't. You can't if he's trying. If not, then you're just a weirdo. I that's think, fine. and that's what I think it is. I think dude's just. A he weirdo. looks like he lost a lot of fights. <laughs> well, dude, like he was an actual boxer, and he just oh, kept getting hit saying. in the face. Okay, and like it's a post fight, but they were, he then he had consecutive fights, and he lost all of them. Just that dude. <laughs> he, was he does to look stop, like right? an abused wife in that picture. You ever seen uh, like you, three? Compass. Did you ever watch Martin? Yes. Remember when Tommy Hearns fucked him up? <laughs> his face was off. His face was all <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, I think yeah, that was, was what he was inspired by. That was fucked up. Oh my god! Stick, speaking of Martin, I think Shanae had that same blouse that Lil Uzi had. <laughs> it's quite possible. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! That was bad. That shit was bad. But it is what it is. In these days with hip hop, 
There's so many fucking lanes. Hey, okay, he's successful in uh, he's, getting the attention of people talking about it. So here he's we are. having a good time. Here we are. Alone. But just don't he's say he's kid. just enjoying his life. Yeah. He's a kid. Just the, don't say you're a rock star. Guys. That's the standard explanation you know, rock music. for this for this shitty music though. That's the, that's the standard explanation, right? That's what you get for like your your new favorite artist, right? Let him. Oh, let him. They're have just having fun. a good time. They're just. Yeah. He's just a. Kid. These are fun songs. Just let him do them. I know they sound like they don't make lean. sense, but it's great. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah. That's what a lot of you know a lot of people say. Sounds like the defense. Over over thirty, a lot of people yeah. over thirty. Or with a, brain. Say that. with a brain. I don't know. With a brain. What was crazy to me though, like <laughs> I tell people at work, I'd be like, "Oh, what concert are you going to see? Alcoholics? Not one fucking person there. Not one." And I'm just like, "Okay, yeah, they're probably a not like it's not a group that really like." carried over past their little bubble that they had of probably like five to seven years. You know, really checking for them like that. Yeah, is everything so fast now? It is. And that's what's crazy to me too because now it's like every five to ten years you're getting a whole new group of artists. There's not a lot of rappers per se that you see everything's doing Everything's been sounding the same for about for five years. Multiple years like that. Which is crazy. And just who, who, hold it down. What rappers have you seen in the game that are still steadily doing shit for the last 10 years? 10 years ago. 2007. I don't know who dropped. Yeah, 2007. Who dropped in 2007? Uh, Chingy? Did he? <laughs> I don't know. I think he fell off way before that. I don't know. 2007, where was I? I'd have to look. <laughs> Yeah, what were you doing? Chingy died the following week. Like, it was, <laughs> you know, like, that was really soon. Yeah, you had uh, Andre, 3000, Jay-Z, T.I., Lupe Fiasco, Ghostface, Chameleonaire. That, you're looking at a 2007 list? Yeah, like a list of the top 10 rappers in 2007. <laughs> Chameleonaire was a top ten rapper. I never thought that that dude was a good rapper. <laughs> top ten. Rapper. I mean, he's he's a good. No, don't let me refresh that statement. It's not that I never thought he was a good rapper. I never liked his style. He was a good rapper, but yeah, his style was just not for me. Jay is Jay really working on a new album right now? So I hear. Supposedly. Ti is he still act? He's still actively releasing stuff right now. I don't know. I think he, he did last year. Last year? I think he's working on the divorce right now. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> working on that. A divorce album. He's got his new his new chick. Lupe, Lupe Fiasco, is he doing anything right now? I think he just released an album last year and he was where he I think he released He was album never that big, so He wasn't. Yeah. He I mean so he's, I guess he's push, still consistent. Yeah, yeah, he's still in the mix. <laughs> yeah. Ghostface on tour right now. He's I think he did really the, the whole like that. or some imagine. of the songs for the new Street Fighter that just came out. More than likely he did. Right. I know he's tied in with Capcom pretty well and does, like, video game competitions. Fabulous has been doing the same thing forever. Fabulous is one dude who's definitely in the mix and has surpassed the storm and stayed in his own lane. Kanye? Kanye's still doing it even bigger than he was before. Uh-huh. Blue? Blue, nope. He's, uh, you guys even know who Blue is? Nope. Blue Ivy? No. Exactly. <laughs> Lil blue, Wayne's still doing blue, shit, but the only dog? blue I acknowledge. <laughs> yeah. yeah, only blue I acknowledge. I think Kanye's in a mountain somewhere in Wyoming working on his music. Word up. Wayne's tied down. He's right trying to get now. close to God on this one. Yeah, they did have him as the best rapper. Who? Kanye. When? In 2007. What, what, what album did he release that time? Was that the first one? They said Not Graduation the and Can't Tell Me Nothing for notable releases on here. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, That's there's a, a good amount of, of dudes that are still in the mix, but a lot of these dudes mentioned were guys doing it before that, too, who have even longer standing records mm. in hip hop. So yeah, I think these last five to ten, five to seven years, we definitely seen a big change in guards per se of people doing it. And people taking those uh, front-running positions. Such as uh, Travis Scott. Travis Scott, uh, Big Sean, Kendrick. Well, Travis Scott inciting a riot. 
amigos. Yeah, what was up with that? But what caused getting everybody amped? I guess. Yeah. Did I you guys see it? Like, was there any footage of him? Like, what he was saying? Yeah, there's some yeah. footage of the crowd getting really insane, as they usually do at a Travis, yeah, at a Scott. Travis Scott show. He's yeah. always done that, but now he's got more attention on him because. He stayed on Kardashian. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say because he got arrested for it. Because he's got these goosebumps every time? <laughs> he didn't get arrested before. Yeah, before he didn't get but arrested. But now he's, now he's, you know, inserting a brand. Oh, they arrested him on stage. Yeah. That's so stupid. Like he's fucking NWA singing Fuck the Police. Well, the problem is that fucking Travis Scott is actually inciting riots because he's like saying it, like, do it now. What, he's telling everybody, oh, let's do he's it right? He's telling people to get crazy, get crazier. He's doing all that. Okay. Like, he told one person to jump off a balcony in the last, yeah, that, the yeah, last concert video that they dropped. You can't do that So does that, that why I inspired um, Big Sean song? What? Halfway off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway off the balcony. No, this guy went all the way off the balcony. Yeah, this guy's <laughs> not. I'm going the whole way. He's like, I love Big Sean, but I'm at the wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I knew I should have sold my Big Sean tickets. <laughs> so shit what, was uh, he the one who had that's the, the new video jumping out the window no. <laughs> <laughs> is he the dude that had uh, the motherfuckers jumping off the third uh, yeah. third yeah. level Recently? yeah, yeah. And then they were fucking hurting themselves and like yeah and then he gave him a watch yo yeah. Travis Scott I mean I ain't mad at him cause if people are going to listen to him doing that, like... I want to go to a show and some shit like that happens. That's ruining my time. Danny and I went to a Travis Scott show. Yeah, I was... Not there. together. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we, we went. We were there in Did the same place. There? No. Because no, ain't no fucking it balcony. That's why. <laughs> no, it was chill. I mean, it's it was too high. high. No, I think because people didn't go there to see Travis Scott. That's they right. were there for to see Kanye. <laughs> Travis Scott performed Travis first. Scott just so happened to be there. But he did a good show. It was a good show. Yeah, a decent show. It's cool. I'm not a Travis Scott fan, though. So yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of him, but he's he's cool. I think the more shit he puts he's out, the more I fun. like him. He's just having fun, man. Just let he's him be. Just a kid. That's what I was thinking about that whole show, that that whole riot and people jumping off the thing. Is that like, you know, people just want to have a good time, you know? So and good. that's what they're going to say is, yeah. we just want to have a good time. In all honesty, We're just being ourselves. I can't Let have them. fun without inflicting pain on myself. We're just trying to express ourselves. Well, you all <laughs> had friends that did dumb shit in high school or like first start of college years that would do some fucking retarded shit like that. Yeah, and they would ruin the fun. Yeah, ruin. Mm, yeah, ruin. Oh, come uh, on, who, man. Whoever did it was a fool and still is. So, yeah. like, let's, They're still doing let's shit realize like the level that you're on. What do you want to do? You want to go out? You, you want to dance? You want to fuck the bitches? And then there's that one friend that comes around and just fucks up the whole shit. I'm like, oh, why we always bring this thing? Yeah. Oh, I got a friend Get like into that. a fight. <laughs> no reason. I know a friend that is. Always the same fight, man. Start calling people's girlfriends bitches. You know? <laughs> no damn reason. Fighter insiders. That's what I call them. <laughs> yeah, those friends. Jesus Christ. You guys ever have friends like that that would start a fight or like be the one like initiating it? But when Fight, shit goes no. down, they're the first to be out of the mix, and you're just like, <laughs> no. Oh, I have. I do. I surrounded myself with not too many people. <laughs> like, that's why I only yeah. have three friends. There's a reason yeah. behind that. There's uh, a reason I have two friends. Not a friend that would like just fuck up a flow when we're trying to bag something. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's almost worse. Just talking to one, and they just come out, man, eh, fucking bitches. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm trying to... What did you just bitch. say? Click. Yes, I'm trying, dick. Thanks. Damn. Good job. Good whole time, thanks. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go home. I think you should. I think you should. Oh, <laughs> you know, oh I like, completely understand. Yeah, I'm like, no, you should go. I'll come over tonight. <laughs> Yo. Yo yeah. You know who this girl reminds me of? Yeah, ex girl. <laughs> Yo, what? Yeah. Who is this for? Right. Oh, come on, shit! Man. This guy's got you could. Uh, yo, what you really need to do? Find your boy. Tell him if he wants to make some real money, <laughs> come with you, and then you charge people to put him in the mix for hanging out. So if you're like, ah, somebody needs to get cock blocked today, <laughs> send in Jimmy. Send in Jimmy. Have him go. 
Hey guys, oh damn, she you're right, Mario. She does have a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Mario. Yeah, shit like that. It'd be great. That dude could make bread doing that shit. <laughs> oh man. So that was your your one boy? His one boy. Your one boy that would do that shit? Yeah. The one foul one. What was his name? You give him a shout out? I forgot. Um, it was that bad. He had I don't to think we're it... friends anymore. <laughs> Not Jeffrey even on Atkins. Facebook. <laughs> Jeffrey Atkins. He deleted me from Facebook, so. He blocked me. Yeah. Did he delete you from Facebook? Pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know this person as well? Of course. Do you know the name? Are you allowed of to give a shout out? Of course I know the name. Are you going to trash people on here now? <laughs> Well, could we get initials? Huh? Could we get initials? Nah, I can't get initials. <laughs> nickname. What would you guys nickname them? <laughs> the home. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I know him. Everybody was yo. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, man. Shit, what else? But yeah, about? everybody got that one person. Yeah, that one. You got to have that one. If you don't, you're not having fun. Yeah, the one the one person brings some fun though. You know, you, that's the one person who's like, I dare you to do this, and they're dumb enough to go do it, and it's fucking hilarious. Or you're know. just like, yo, <laughs> dude's about to go hit on this chick. You know, this shit's about to be bad, <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah. just standing back watching it, just like, ugh, no, like pushing him away, like, yes, yes. <laughs> just come out of nowhere with a bet. I bet you I could bag her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go for it. Go ahead. Like 300 pounds with one eye. It's Hold pretty, on, let me get some popcorn. It's pretty yeah, good. Yeah. They sell chips here? Give me a Slim Jim. <laughs> no, but she's not attractive. She has some big ass titties, though. Uh, look at that ass. She's also 300 pounds. Oh, yeah. Speaking still. of big ass titties. Oh. You seen that Amber Rose video? Did I ever? It's my screensaver on my phone right now. <laughs> Did I see it? Like, what are you saying? Did I watch it? Did More you, than once? Did you, did, yeah, did, did you see it multiple times? Did you see it in your soul? Uh, you yeah, I felt it. <laughs> I felt it. I felt myself watching it. Yeah. Uh, I was like, my man, Mr. Cheeks. I've seen a lot of come. <laughs> what? I've seen a lot of go. That's what I said. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah, that 12. Yo. Yo, that's all I can say. <laughs> I can't really say too much about that video, but yeah. What episode is it? That was the longest, shortest hallway I've seen. <laughs> I just, I've never watched a video loop that many times in a row on Instagram. <laughs> I thought I was watching one that video. That is the most. And then, have you seen her other pictures where she's got French Montana, like, brother for life? No. That is the biggest compliment I've never believed in my life. <laughs> <laughs> As a man, having a friend like Amber Rose. No. Ain't nobody Amber Rose's friend. <laughs> There's no way that's platonic. Or, no, he Amber. is her friend. No, they're friends and until they And he's trying to, he's just like, yo, I gotta be your friend first. And once that gate opens, I'm running through that. Because you know, you, you've seen him with multiple celebrity chicks. That dude definitely, you know, makes yeah, his rounds. He's, uh, as they call a sniper. Yeah, so that's the thing. He's, he's probably a friend. Just, he's setting up the shot. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. probably not smashing yet, because if she's like, brothers for life, he's like, oh, oh. shout out to Wiz. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> Wiz. <laughs> oh, right, they're friends, all right. Oh, are they? I don't know. Uh, Everybody's friends now. Yeah, that's the truth. I guess they were on that uh, that Joe Budden song. What? Yeah. NBA. They were on a Joe Budden song <laughs> together? No idea. French Montana and Wiz Khalifa. And Joe Button, who was the third wheel? Yeah. That sounds like a powerful track. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, it's just still in my face right now. You still thinking about that video? Still thinking of boobs right now. Yeah. What about Downski? Yeah, I don't know what was happening with that video, but fuck. Every time I close my eyes, I see him now. I can't really get it. It's burned into my head. Seems you know, like you this podcast is getting cut short. <laughs> Close your eyes. What do you see? Black. It's like the sun. Like I said, Boots. you look at the sun for three minutes. It's you got that image burned into your head. That's what's happening for me right now. Yeah. Just ne- back and Never forth. thought a bald lady would look so good. I know, God. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's saying. That'd be like going to the fucking, what is it? Let's let's make a deal where they're like, you want door number two? And they're like, do you want the, the bald lady? Oh, no, I don't want the bald lady. Burr, burr, burr. All right, sorry. <laughs> you could have had Amber Rose. You didn't say bald and bad. 
<laughs> you chose the rich lady. You get Oprah. <laughs> Oprah kind of thick. She had the wrong way. <laughs> you wouldn't take it down? <laughs> A bank account. The only, <laughs> yeah. Only way I yeah. chop that tree is if I I'm chop not, that I tree. Would, I would not pull out on Oprah. I'd have to have that bread. I I'd have to be breaded out. out. I'm not pulling out Oprah. God, yeah, right. I'm you think st- her, those eggs are bad? They're scrambled. Those yeah, eggs. Are bad. <laughs> You're just shooting blanks up in there. Am I a doctor? Do I know for sure? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm risking it. Yeah. Hey, no risk it, no biscuit. <laughs> I'm halfway off the balcony. <laughs> For Oprah, I'll jump out the window. Dang, you want Oprah like that? <laughs> you always had a thing for Oprah. Hell yeah. I guess mine like that's uh, Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Psych. That guy? That guy, that dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's got strong arms, though. She just looks like she'd hug me tight. But yeah, uh... Off that, because Amber Rose is too fucking distracting. Uh, I what forgot what I was going to say the now. Fuck everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fucking bitch. Um, Master of None Season 2 is back. Who watched it? I did. Did you? I watched it. I did watched, you? I watched the whole thing. Did you, AJ? I have not watched it yet. Mm, okay, sure. Whatever. You're racist. What'd you have better to do? Hmm? Mother's Day, don't give me that shit. Mother's Day, oh, watch a sick child. Stop it. Oh, <laughs> you had to be a dad? Toddler. You had to take care of a baby? Oh, come on. Poor thing, she's still Excuses. sick. Excuses. Excuses. What is she, vomiting? She had a virus? <laughs> that was she more was actually just puking all over. No, that sucks. <laughs> what'd you, so what did you think of Master of None? Fucking loved it. What was your favorite episode? Favorite episode? Why well, you put him on blast? You know I didn't watch it yet? I think going through the Thanksgivings were pretty funny. Hey, um, do you care? Do you care if he ruins it? I'm, tr- I'm still probably going to try to watch <laughs> probably it. Probably going to try. That's a no. Still got to watch season one. By the time you watch that, you're going to forget about what we're talking about right now. Season exactly. Two. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What did you say was your favorite episode? Uh, the Thanksgiving ones when they were going through the years and stuff. I think it's pretty uh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That was good. That was a good episode. I like how mixed everything. Everything is not... Just white people everywhere. I love that part. Everything is mixed. I like the the wedding in Italy and stuff. The first episode when he's all in Italy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah end he, up getting he, married? What? He mixes it up on that show. This is good. Because he got like different stories, different angles. The whole talking in Italian. Different people. I didn't know they really talked like this. That little kid. <laughs> oh, that little kid was <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That was, good. That was a good show. First season better or second season? I gotta rewatch this. It's like another world. I would say, though, the first season to me was better. Mainly because it was more of the story. Of the love story going on. Oh, okay, yeah. Get that. The second part was good because, like I said, like there's a lot of creative episodes, a lot of different stuff going on. And that, that part is cool. and You know, I like that. And then when the chick from season one came back around. Uh-huh. And I was like, I've been in that position. I fucking relate to it, but then I don't really <laughs> relate to it. I'm like, that's pretty good. I like it. Was your girl looking at you like... I don't know. She, how she, you relate. I don't think I said that. <laughs> no. She knows that I, I miss New York. Uh-huh. I'll be that's what it reminds you of, then? Yeah. No, okay. But like downtown. Like East Village and uh, Soho and stuff. Yeah. Going out down there. Not the Bronx. <laughs> Who went out the Bronx? Huh? Who went out in the Bronx, anyway? I don't know. <laughs> That's like all the broke people who stood in the Bronx. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was cool. The good times I've had. But yeah, which I'll be there next Wednesday. So at the end, though, oh, do you shit, think he's sticking right. with the girl, though? I hope so. She's kind of hot. She's super hot. I like her. <laughs> I don't know her name. I research her name. I can't pronounce it. Damn, what kind of hot? Kinda so hot. Super, super hot. Super hot. Yeah. Super hot. Fire. Yeah. Ja likes a foreign girl. That's what it is. Yes. A lord. <laughs> anyway. What Even else? The, the best friend is hilarious. Told oh, you. he's hilarious. Arnie. Uh, is it Arnie, right? Arnie, Arnie, yeah. DJ Arnie. Hilarious. DJ Arnie. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, when he said, oh, I had a playlist the whole time. I'm in the <laughs> Yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> That shit is funny. 
Anyway, people probably don't know what we're talking about because they didn't have a chance to watch it yet. Yeah, she looks stupid. And we just spoiled <laughs> it all for you. It's a good yeah. show. Watch it. And uh, It's not even a white lead in the show. Why do you think I'm going to watch that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking racist. That wasn't. That wasn't Mexican. What is it? A lead terrorist? (laughs) Yeah. What is he? The A and AJ stands for America. (laughs) (laughs) Not even though he was Muslim, he's not religious at all. When they're like uh, trying to eat those pork sandwiches, I'm like, right on, fucking eat. Oh, pork it up. It's good. I mean, you can't live your life and not eat pork. You know what I'm saying? Pork is delicious. Yeah, you need pork on that fork. (laughs) <laughs> Which brings me to, you know, so many people saying pork, it, you know, kills you, it's bad for you. I'm like, if you really want to research everything. So do cars. It's all, exactly. <laughs> but you still drive them, right? Yeah. You could walk out, you could be the healthiest motherfucker and then walk out one day, boom, a bus, a bus hits you. Then all that health went to shit. Yeah. Now you're going to have to look healthy in your casket. Also, you can't trash like pork and then like eat McDonald's. Straight up. <laughs> doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah, you're right. If you say you don't eat pork, but then you're overweight, then you're just wasting your overweightness. You're eating the wrong thing, getting fat off the wrong thing. Go diet. vegan. Eat vagina. Yeah. <laughs> oh, vegan. Vaginitarian. <laughs> All right, man. Well, anyway... Anything else uh, to talk about? Uh, rest in peace, Big Black. Yes, R.I.P. Big Bleasy. From Robin Big. Straight up, man. Straight up. He was hilarious. He was. That dude was funny as shit. Like Bobby Light. Oh, <laughs> Bobby Light. <laughs> rest in peace, you know, Big Black. Big Black, yeah, man. He was a cool dude. Funny yeah. as shit. And we just talked about him on the last episode. Yeah. Last episode we, we talked saying, about yeah, him, and then that night he died? His logo was better than... Or no, Ja was saying that it, it looked like... The Big Baller brand. The Big Baller brand looked, looked like looked Big like, Black. And I was like, yeah. shit, this is better than Big Baller brands. So what you're saying is you think they killed him? <laughs> think Mind about blown, it. Doc. I don't even want to think about they, it. They killed him, took his trademark. Damn. It just yeah, it's his new logo. I just seen the thing. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, yeah, rest in peace, Big Black man. That Robin Big show was a was a strong show when it was when it was airing. Man. That show was a great show, and that was one of those shows where I was like. I almost felt guilty for watching it, or I felt like, oh, it's not going to be that good. But it's like, you get so sucked into it, it's so good. It was just like, they were constantly doing shit, they were always funny. Yep. Like, Which so spawned good into uh, Rob Deerdeck's, uh factory, fantasy, fantasy factory. factory. Oh, that shit was, was also crazy. Hilarious. Yeah. Then ridiculousness. I mean, so Rob Deerdeck took over TV with uh, Big Black. He <laughs> did. MTV, anyway. They took over that whole channel and fucking went with it. They did. There's money there. Taking up, too. This shit's crazy. That's why it was surprising. Yeah, I don't think he has a DC anymore, right? No, that's what I was just going to bring up right now. It was surprising that DC didn't renew his contract last year. This is last year or the year before, but straight up didn't renew his contract, which is nuts because that dude was like basically sponsored to wear them in everything. That dude always had DC on. Yeah. So the fact. I don't know if it was somebody new in the mix, and they were just like, oh, we don't need him, it's ran his course, or what the deal was, but that shit's just nuts. I don't think anyone's going to buy it anymore. Maybe I'm People, wrong. People, yeah, I mean, it's not like I skate or anything, but DC always seemed like a like a brand that already ran its course, that it's just like a past brand. Yeah. Past skate brand. It's not like, you know... But now he's got the opportunity Some, like, creature or stuff. something that, like... You know, still sells and I guess still that's less well. work for him. He's doing a lot less work and getting a lot more money. Well, on Good top of that, he can sell his own shoes if he wanted. Or do yeah. something, you know, do something with another brand. And, uh, shit, I'm sure get just as much money. You don't have young and reckless shoes? <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, right. but that brand <laughs> is probably like one of the biggest surprises to me that that brand blew up as big as it did. Yeah. With like, all kinds of motherfuckers wearing it. Like, 
That's it's Rob Deerdeck power right there. Yeah, that was the Deerdeck power. That just goes to show you how it could start that small in the power of television. That and that big black brand. Because if you look at both of those brands, mad motherfuckers were wearing those at the height of the of the show. I don't know. I've never seen anyone with the big black brand. Oh, dude. I used to see tons of people wearing that yeah. shit out here. Yeah. And it's just crazy. It's crazy that... Uh, there's fatter people out here. That's why. Yeah, there is bigger people out here. So <laughs> it's a lot more fast food going. <laughs> there is. It's fast food on every We're corner. Six X. I mean, it's Philip Berto's shirts. I don't blame him. Philip Berto's fucks <laughs> up the game. But just saying, in general, pretty dope to see uh, two clothing brands that basically popped up because a television show become yeah, sellers, being stuff that was sold at yeah, the malls. Yeah, he had and his, and then he put on his best friend. He sold. Then he put on his little cousin, and now that shit is fucking taking off. For what the started with DC. Oh, you're saying, okay, I, I, get, I get what you're saying. You're saying Rob did. Rob had put on Big Black. It was like, it was like a nutshell. Yeah, he put on Big Black, then he put on... He said, Big Black, you want a brand? Put on drama. For big dudes. Like, yeah, let's do it. Did it. No questions asked. And the funny yeah. thing, too, they just like did straight logo. Like, it was just that logo on everything. And then those Do Work shirts. And it was like... They did a bunch of shit that you should be doing when you're rich. Yeah. Which is whatever the fuck you want. It's just Without hurting money. anyone. That's going to get, you know, you know, see money come back. You weren't disrespectful or anything. Like, you want to make a, uh, you wanna make no, a music video? No, those dudes are hella, hella cool and hella respectful about You should be everything. happy like, when you're rich. Yeah. When I mean, they were, which is awesome. They, I think they had a little rough patch, but. Yeah, I'm sure they rough, cool. they clean that up. Yeah. Who doesn't? Well, if you're fucking together that much with somebody, like, you got to argue now and then. Human or, nature. I hate y'all sometimes too. So, oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> anyway, man, I think about time we wrap this up. Yeah. Yep. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there that uh, take care of the kids. It's not. Uh, you're not gonna trash them for Father's Day again. Nope. Did that last, last week. week. <laughs> if you want to hear me trash them, listen to the last episode. <laughs> And comment and hate on me, you know. Talk shit to me, thanks. Anyway, yeah, shout out to all the moms out there, all the moms, all the grandmoms, all the step, all the mamas, all the babies, mamas, all the mom babies, mamas, mamas, mamas. Shout out to all y'all. Thanks for listening to episode twenty. Fired up, episode twenty. We got a lot more to go. Hopefully, they get better. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> yeah, energy is low. Tired today, man. Anyway, we're out of here. Peace out. Some great podcast. I'm Danny. That's Ja. That's AJ. We're out of here. Peace Peace. out. Peace. See y'all next week. One. Be sure to follow Something Great Podcast on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Facebook. Do it. Do it now.